they've done it. They've actually done it. Let's talk some football. Rich James on the ball. Back to goal. Be impressed. Under pressure. Let's look at his position. And I want you to remember these things. So let's look at his position. Right sided centre half. Tossing. Central centre half. Okay. You go on to the next clip. The ball gets passed into Sanchez, the goalkeeper. Now, the first switch has already happened. Tossin has gone to the right side of centre-half. Rhys James is now occupying the central centre-half position. There are two players I want you to keep an eye on because without them, this doesn't happen. Nkunku, who's dropped deep to create a passing angle to allow Chelsea to beat the press. He's already dropped deep and made himself available on Chelsea's right-hand side. Then you've got Mano Gusto, who's roaming in the centre as the inverted fullback. You look at the next clip, just look at the time. To start off, look at the time. 31 minutes. Now look at that triangle. Just look at that little triangle of Reese James, Mano Gusto and, in and Nkunku. Because within a matter of seconds, Chelsea are going to beat the press, carry the ball forwards, and all three of those players are going to rotate in a smart way. That maintains structure. You go into the final clip. Three seconds. Three seconds is all it took. But the crazy thing is, look at them now. Because Rhys James is not in the central centre half's position. He's in the position that Malo Gusto was in as the inverted fullback, as the midfielder. So if he's in Malo Gusto's position, where's Malo Gusto? Malo Gusto has read the room. He saw Rhys James looking to attack the space. The space that he was in. So he got out of the way. It's about creating space for your teammates. Milo Gusto saw it and he was like, sweet, I'm getting out of the way. I'm going to go to the right-hand side. But Nkunku's on the right-hand side. Game understanding, teammates understanding. He's gone to the right-hand side. Nkunku's looked at the whole situation. Reese James is looking to attack the space. Milo Gusto is getting out of the way to create space for him to attack. So Mano Gusto has gone to the right-hand side and Kunku has gone in behind them to occupy the position of the right-sided centre-half. Do you know what you call this? You call this positional rotation. It's amazing. It's beautiful. And once you master it, <laughs> you become one of the best teams in the world. So what's another thing that we've learned from Chelsea against Club America? Mano Gusto is the inverted fullback. And I think it was probably one of the best decisions Enzo Maresca could have done. Because when it comes to Reese James, in my opinion, I feel like he doesn't have the athleticism anymore to play in the centre of the park. He's a bit static. He's a bit stiff. He can't rotate as quick. And when you want your inverted fullback to be there offensively and defensively, to provide an extra layer of protection, to help you play out at the back, you need an inverted fullback. You need a player that ticks a lot of boxes. And Mano Gusto ticks them. We're talking being mobile and dynamic. Mano Gusto ticks those boxes. Ball carrying. He, he carried the ball a few times against Club America. But he's shown, even from playing at right back. Ball carrying. Having that killer pass in the final third. He's got that in his locker. Then we're talking being defensive minded. Because off the ball, he will be tested. And he needs to make sure his positioning is on point, his reading of the game is on point. And we just saw from the previous clip, he knew when to get out of the way and he knew which position to occupy. His reading of the game is top tier. Ball playing, he's shown that across the pitch. IQ, reading of the game. And most importantly, you need to be athletic. In the Premier League, you're coming up against dynamic midfielders, dynamic wingers, dynamic players across the pitch, full of athleticism. Malo Gusto ticks those boxes. He suits that role more than a Reese James. And finally, another impressive thing that I saw Chelsea do against Club America. Now, it's very common in football nowadays to hold onto the ball in the first phase and wait for the opposition to press. Little you know, Chelsea are already doing it. You look at the screen, Baddy Shields on the ball. Baddy Shields on the ball. Now you look at the time, eight minutes and 34 seconds. And when I was watching this, I was like, Brother, why are you not making the pass? What are you waiting for? And then I remembered. He holds on to this ball for just under 10 seconds. The moment he decides to release it is when the opposition start to press. 
and start to push for the bodies forwards. Now, the, the beauty in this is you look at the goalkeeper. Because, as we're all aware, Chelsea on the ball, 3 2 5. Look at the goalkeeper. He knows Bad Yashil. He's on the right hand side. Let me push forward to the left hand side and become like a temporary left sided centre half. Now, you're probably sat thinking, goalkeeper can't defend. He's a goalkeeper. But the beauty in it is he doesn't even have to receive the ball. Him pushing up. Creates, one, a new passing angle. Two, it occupies one of the opposition players. And the beauty in it is, from what, from what you can see, there's one Club America player keeping an eye on Sanchez. Occupying him. Because he's probably sat thinking, they might pass the ball to him and I can press him. But the opposition player being occupied has now left Malo Gusto and Lavia in midfield at a 2v1 numerical advantage. And huh, the beauty in it is, guess where the pass goes next? It goes into Lavia. Chelsea beat the press. It's simple. As long as everybody's on the same page, as long as everybody understands when to push forwards, when to sit back, when to rotate. Football is a simple game. And Chelsea showed that against Club America when it comes to playing out of the back, when it comes to taking control of the game, when it comes to overloads in the final third to create opportunities for one another. But the thing that impressed me the most was the fact that they're beginning to grasp the arts of positional play and positional rotation. But anyways, if you're new, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit the like. Make sure to let me know what you think in the comments. And I will catch you guys on another one.